If um, do you want to stand, sit, stand, <laughs> if you would, please. <laughs> Raise your right hand. I don't have to be supported. Well, you're no. a member, so not he's voting. Not, he's oh. not voting. I do solemnly and sincerely swear and affirm that I will faithfully and affirm and that I will faithfully and impartially discharge and impartially and discharge and perform all duties and perform all duties, duties incumbent on me incumbent on me as Wakefield School District SAU as Wakefield School District SAU withdrawal planning committee withdrawal planning committee according to the best of my abilities according to the best of my abilities Agreeably to the rules, agreeably to the rules and regulations, and regulations of this constitution, of this constitution and laws of the state of New Hampshire, and laws of the state of New Hampshire. So help me God. So help me God. Okay. We'll all please sign. God gave up helping me. Huh? God gave up helping me. He did. <laughs> Air conditioners. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, man. Don't be nervous. The next three of us. Well, two of us. Dude, you've done this many times. Lousy. How's it yours? <laughs> Better than yours, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can pass. bet they Everybody's all set, right? I think we're all sworn in. Yes. Must be official. Okay, so the second official act that I'd like to do is, is uh, make a nomination uh, for the chair of this uh, planning committee. If I could nominate uh, Judy Nason as chair. Second that. Judy, is that okay? Um, sure, I'll try it. <laughs> I have those back right here. I mean, you want to discuss that I motion? No, no, those are well, my, my copies. I don't. I thought it was for tonight. That was an agenda. Well, Priscilla asked for a, cop, a copy pass. of the. Uh, I guess, I guess pass. not. All in favor of that motion, say aye. 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 All against, say nay. I said aye. All right, so that motion, Judy, you want to take the round? Sure, I see Michael over there with a yeah. whole pile of papers, so I'm going to ask him to pass out what he's got and explain Just, it. These were the uh, requests for the minutes for the past meetings, oh, so I brought copies for everyone. There's some of them, Steve and Jerry, and the rest are down there. I thought it was good to give you a copy so we know what they did for that door for I also found there's a binder of past work, too, that's at the SAU, if you want me to bring that at some point as well. So I know there was uh, withdrawal study committees in the past, I believe, twice. Um, so there's some Priscilla old. Was on one. Yeah, there's some old information. Right. To bring that as well, if you'd like for the next meeting. Um, and then Mr. Brown asked for copies of the Fremont School District um, budget. 
as well as I have copies of what the uh, Wakefield board had put together, which was part of the budget cycle that was discussed this year. Is that the one that was passed out at the deliberative session? Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. So that was information that was requested of, of me prior to this meeting, so okay. that's everything that was asked. Was there more than one page of this one? Nope, it's front and, front and back. We're just going to bring it here. Only came with the front. Yeah. All right. I have for a motion for vice chair. Uh, yeah, I was thinking about that. That would be a good idea. I'd like to nominate um, Steve Royal for vice chair. I'll second that. Morning, Steve. I suppose. <laughs> He's as enthusiastic as the chair was. All right, so we have a first and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Um, I think the first thing we should probably look at is what we're charged with doing. Um, I pulled up the 194C, and it says we have to prepare a plan for organization, reorganization, or withdrawal. We have to study the advisability of establishing a school SAU, its organization, operation, and control. Um, we have to pre prepare an educational and fiscal analysis of the impact on the school districts within the existing SAU. And then we have to consult with the Department of Education regarding any unique issues. We have to prepare a plan to provide superintendent services, which meets this RSA, and a transition plan and timeline, uh, which consider with, uh, includes consideration of transition budgets. We have to submit a copy of the proposed plan to every school district within the SAU, and we have to hold at least one public meeting, uh, no less than 14 days prior to submission to the state board. So we got our work cut out for us, it looks like. <laughs> and this is, has to be done within a year? Is that what the Well, that's what I is? wanted to ask Michael about, what our timeline is, if you can kind of that's too explain sad. that to us. I would think you'd probably want it ready for, to be on the... March ballot. Yeah. But I don't know what's the... Um, What's the process if once we go through this, get it on the ballot, have our public hearings, get it on the ballot, what happens, we vote on it, if the voters vote yes, where do we go from there? Well, it's, it depends on the planning committee's recommendation. If you're looking to implement this July 1st, 2016, then you have to have your warrant um, available the second week of January. Um, so. It's really dependent on if the planning committee wants to do this for June 2016 or your, your transition timeline could be for another year. It's completely okay. up to this committee. The, the process in general is that you have to have a public hearing prior to submitting your plan to the State Board of Education. The State Board of Education has 60 days to respond. Um, in that 60-day time frame, if the State Board feels that there is any type of deficiencies in your plan, they kick it back to you and you have a short period of time to resubmit it for their review and approval. Once it's approved by the, um, by the State Board, then you hold another, plan, um, another public hearing prior to putting it on uh, as an article on the ballot. Okay. Now, do they have, if they kick it back with us to recommendations mm -hmm. and we submit something else to them. Do they then have another 60 days to approve that? Uh, it wasn't clear in the RSA how much time they have. If we they might want to assume about. that because the first time 60. Yeah. So that's 120, that's 135 days. We have to be prior to 
The second week of January. Second week of January. Deliberative session, right? Mm -hmm. uh, second week of January would be public hearing, right? The second week of January is when you have to have your articles available. That you, you, okay. All articles need to be established by the second week of January. That's 135 days. That's four and a half months. Four and a, yeah. That's like the end of the summer. I mean, you got to have it kind of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you almost want to have it ready four months from today because it's already a month into the new or March elections. It's already a month later. So if we're looking to try to get this accomplished in the in the end time constraints, we'd want to be able to present a, have a plan ready for September first. September first. Hmm. We'd have to submit it to the state, right? So that kind of sets our, we kind of got to set how many times we want to meet and when we want to meet to get that accomplished, right? Mm -hmm. Mondays is good for everybody. You guys have conservation on? Second what? and fourth. Second and fourth. So do you want to do the first and third Mondays? How's that work for everybody? Uh, it's all right with me. Six o'clock? Six o'clock is good. So, Michael, we have the current SAU budget here, right? No, we don't. No, what? what? We have the projected and the Fremont, right? Correct. So for the next meeting, could we get a copy for everyone of the current SAU budget? Sure. I had pulled mine out from deliberative session, and this one that they um, gave us a deliberative session, I have quite a few questions on. So maybe if we had the current SAU budget in this one, mm -hmm. at the next meeting we could review that. Can do that. Can I go back to the meeting dates? Yep. And this is the second. Yep. Are we going to meet on the 20th next week? I don't think we'll have our stuff all together for us by then. I think we should probably wait till the first week in May. Okay, so that'll be the fourth. Four. Yep. Judy, a couple items. Yep. Um, one thing you, you, I would suggest for the planning committee is to request copies of the, uh, I believe it's January 30th edition of Foster's. It has Middleton's withdrawal plan. Okay. Can you, you think um, got it there? January 30th. Yeah, but you're, I would recommend that the you can just call Foster's and get a copy of it because it's it's extensive. It's three three full pages of a of an addition and that will give you an idea of the amount of work that's going to that needs to go um, into this project as well as what needs to be presented to the state board and the community is so that the one if, you said you'd give to me or forward to me no i said that you would this is my copy um I just remember call you said you'd get me just something. you just have to call fosters and request a certain number of copies for the planning <coughs> committee that's just a suggestion but no middleton middleton, middleton. what did you say february what January 30th. January 30th, yep. I think I saw their plan online. I think I saw it sure. online, online as well. Yeah, Seven. and, and I, I think it was a pretty comprehensive. Uh, like 87 pages. Yeah. It was a, it was a lot. Yeah. So, so I think that'd be a good um, baseline to work off of to get an idea as to what needs to be put together um, okay. for, for a plan. How many single district SAUs are there in the state? Do you have any idea? I don't know. I mean, I, you can go online and find all the SAUs that are on that are located in the state. It's broken out in a, into a map. I think I provided that at the last withdrawal meeting. I looked and there's quite a list. I wrote down. And there's a lot 90 of them. plus, so that's what the map looks like. So if I go on the website somewhere, I can find out how many single districts there are. Yeah, mm -hmm. great, great resources. The New Hampshire DOE website, and you go under um, reports. 
You could also go to school district uh, profiles and all that information, all of the different districts, all their enrollments, um, costs, attendance. Transportation. Mm -hmm. It's all on there. The DOE website is be a great resource for you folks. I think it's good that we have the Fremont one, mm -hmm. but I think we need more than that to compare to. I can recommend, what I did is I looked at, um, I went on the DOE website and basically found the districts that are comparable in student enrollment to Wakefield. Mm -hmm. um, and I can list those for you for you to do some research on how their SAUs are set up, their SAU services are set up. Gilmanton is a single district SAU. Sunapee, you have Fremont already, and Winchester. Okay, is Alton is two, isn't it? Alton is two, but it's not. Uh, Alton is um, close to, I want to say, 600 students. So if you, if you go and you and look. Barrington? Barrington is oh, about 1,000. I'm just looking for ones close. How about the Cornish? Location just, what? These are the, the ones I just provided you are, the, are, are the ones that are in the closest proximity to our student enrollment, student. these four. And you can go, as I said, you can go on the um, DOE website under enrollments. And you can actually sort the spreadsheet that's in there, and you can sort it based on student enrollment, and it'll give you, you know, however you sort it, either fewer students to greater students. So that's what I did to come up with these four that are similar to Wakefield. What are you using for an enrollment number? Just Paul School, or are you including high school? Just Paul School. Because shouldn't we include our high school students? We are sending them out. Not necessarily, not if you're putting together SAU services because the SAU in Rochester oversees um, our, our students at Spalding. The only difference would be in your student services. Um, you know, your director of student services might be the liaison uh, for any type of discipline issues that are happening at Spalding. Special ed. Any, any, really any student service that's, that needs to be provided. Um, so that's something you're going to want to look at when you start putting together your budget. What's the, do you know what the surplus amount is for the SAU, approximately? Uh, top of my head, no. It's got to be around 200, I think. No, but the, the joint board voted to um, send back 50,000 of that, so I want to say we're probably around anywhere between 100 and 150,000 dollars which would be part of our assets and liabilities that we have to put together to determine what we're going to do with those monies. Right. So when, you left after has that money been turned back yet? No, it won't be back until um, the end of the school year. It would be nice if the joint board would reconsider that. Because all it does is go back to lower taxes when it could be valuable in the planning stages and, and the eventual, hopefully, withdrawal. I thought I when I watched the meeting, I thought that it was stated that they recommended leaving a certain amount in there. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you have to leave some for mm -hmm. three months. That's what, you know, so that's a practice. However, those monies would not go to um, a planning process. Those, if you're giving those monies back. No, 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 I'm thinking oh, okay. of like, um, you could put you might be able to put a warrant article on to use that money um, for setup costs once it's approved. Ralph? Ralph if it was already part of the um, process that got voted on, would that have to go by the vote at that point, after that point? I mean, if during the budget budgeting process, the joint board decided to send 50 back to Wakefield, and then that was in consideration of the, the budget process, and then the voters ended up voting on it and accepted or voted. What did they vote against? They the don't budget, have to vote they? to turn that back. No, they, the just, yeah. board can just do it. Right. Okay. Just like the selectmen turn back surplus okay. to offset the tax rate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The board already, the joint board already voted to do it. Correct. I guess what I was thinking was if it was part of the plan that was presented to the voters and the voters had voted a certain way with that consideration, would it be against the will of the voter? But, I mean, 
you've no got the experience. On I, I don't think it was on the ballot. It, it was just a decision that the board made. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't, so it wasn't represented in the budget numbers? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay. No, I think it was just a surplus. It wasn't like it wasn't like a discontinuing a, a capital reserve fund or anything like that. Right. It was just a, a little. It was just part of the uh, surplus. Mm -hmm. well, what's that's the, good. What's the current enrollment of this school now? Uh, a little over four hundred twenty, I believe. The last was four twenty-seven. And King, what's that? Four twenty-three. Yeah, that's somewhere in the middle. That's total. Approximately four hundred twenty. Are you going to count the bright beginnings yes. though in the school? With King I believe it is. I mean, or that enrollment number. Well, bright beginnings is, but are we going to count that? Are we going to count K? Eight. Yeah, that's, eight. Eight. that's part of your average daily membership, right, so which we're is how they count determine bright it. Beginnings in that. Mm -hmm. okay. So what's the what's the K eight? Is that approximately four hundred twenty students? Oh, I don't have the exact number. So high school is additional. A little over two hundred. So I was wrong. I it was <laughs> That's why you asked. Actually, 194. 186. I have this if you want. That's going to be in Wednesday's packet. Yeah, that's Paul's school. Yeah. Four. Just for pre K to grade 8, it's 425. 425. Kind of 17, right? Oh, that's 425 pre K to 8. Paul's school. 425? And that's pre K to 8. It's so. not counting right beginnings, right? It is. The pre K has 17 in it. And that 17, 425 okay. is 17. In high schools, approximately 185. That's Spalding, Kingswood, and Lakeside Academy. Where's Lakeside? Wolfboro. Wolfboro. <laughs> it's not in Effingham, then. Mm. <clears throat> is that Lakeview? I just sure. heard something on NPI today about shutting that place down. Lakeview is the um, Neffingham. Neuro Hub. Yeah, Neuro that's the Neuro Hub. Hub. <coughs> what um, do we have to do an inventory too, right? Mm -hmm. Is that something your staff can work on? That's that's my sole responsibility as part of this committee is to provide you your assets and liability list for the SAU. Okay. So I will. That'll be my responsibility. Is the sorry, spoke without raising my hand? <laughs> Go ahead. Is we're we're going to be pretty informal <laughs> as long as we don't get out of. How much money is available to this committee? Do we have a, none? Uh, <laughs> if we need legal advice, I mean, is that tied in with anything? I mean, is it's a subcommittee of the board, so I imagine this is a board committee, right? No. Uh, it's totally separate. It's so separate. There, there's no, was there no money? There's no money voted in with the war now. No. No. So if we needed money for something, we'd have to go to the board to request it. Or legal, we'd have to go to the board to request it. Oh, we could do a bake sale. I don't know, can we? I don't think we can. It's a separate, right? Yeah, the committee is separate from the school board. You have representatives from the board, however, it's not part of the operating budget. So, of course, you could put a request to the board at any point. It's up to whether the board approves it or not. Oh, so the board can? To expend those monies, sure. I don't know how much it would be, but there could be something you, would, you, know, you might want to check legally. Or we're going to have some printing costs. Mm -hmm. It'll be something. I mean, I don't. I mean, not to, I don't think we're talking about a fortune, but yeah, we'll definitely have printing costs. We could have some legal questions. Mm -hmm. um, public notices for hearings. Mm -hmm. Did we were there minutes from the workshops that the, the school board did to come up with some numbers? Remember we had a number of workshops when we were going over Fremont's um, budget. That would be part of your minutes. But not not part of these withdrawal committee minutes. I'm talking about the workshops that the school board did. Mm -hmm. 
Are those those uh, would be separate okay. from what you have this evening. Would they be available at some point in the future? So I think those were pretty pretty important too. I just glanced at this. It was decided that a secretary should be hired to take minutes for the meetings. That's what prompted one of my, my thought about this. So how did you do that last time? July 2nd. Of 2013? Yeah. I, I think that, um, I think we're safe in assuming that, that Beth could be covered under the school district Secretarial services, but maybe not. Maybe, maybe that's our first legal question. <laughs> I think it's something that you could discuss with the full board as to how you want to approach, you know, budgeting for this committee. Yeah. Have that conversation and see yeah, where the board to wants to go with it. Because there are costs associated with it. <clears throat> could that fall under new business for the next agenda of the school board? Well, no, I'm probably going to see if we can talk about it. On Wednesday, because we're going to... Under new business. Under new business. Because uh, we're going to be... This committee will be meeting before we have our next meeting, right? All right, so we're going to leave that up to you two to discuss that Wednesday night. I would think that if... No, oh, oh yeah, no, if the fourth, that would be before, yeah, that would be before our next... Ralph's passing the buck to you. All right, so you two are going to discuss that Wednesday night, right? He's pretty disgusting already, I think. And probably, I don't, do we, we don't want them to set a budget or anything for us, but if we come to them with requests, maybe, and they could act on each individual request as we brought it. But the secretary getting paid? Yeah. So that, yeah. That. Milton did a withdrawal plan, right? No, they just, they, um, did the study, the feasibility study to withdraw, that's it. And did their feasibility study include a budget? No. They didn't discuss how much it was going to cost, or? Br um, Excuse me. Not a full line budget like you have there in front of you, but what potential additional costs could be. Okay. I I'm just kind of interested in what they were thinking their needs would be for an SAU, because we have to supply a plan for them, too. And if it was something that they had already worked out, um, so that's the part I don't like about this. I don't think that we should have, how can we decide what's good for them? They need to decide what's good for them. Mm -hmm. So at some point, do we need to bring them into this to get any input as to what they want their plan to look like that we're supposed to draw up for? I think we can offer them our plan to to go with our plan and they have the opportunity or the right to refuse that plan. As long as we offer them a plan, it could mimic ours. Because yeah. I brought this up at the um, withdrawal committee and I believe you said that we didn't have to come up with a plan for Milton. They're going to come up with their own plan. Milton will, will develop their own plan as a backup, basically, um, if this does go through the voters at Wakefield, it's something that uh, we've already been discussing at the Milton board level um, and putting together potential SE service plans for them. But we have if, to suggest one to the state for them, right? Not a full plan. What you need to, in your plan that you provide to the, um, to the state board, is you need to demonstrate that there will not be a substantial fiscal or educational impact on any district that's within the SAU. In this case, it's only Milton. So as part of your plan, you have to keep into consideration that you have to um, demonstrate that there isn't a substantial fiscal or educational impact on Milton. That's what needs to be part of your plan. Okay. Maybe it would be something just as simple as using like the same percentage that we've been using now just split it the same way, roughly, what the percentage of a cost would be for them to, you know, to do the percentage of what we're doing now, you know, and be as simple as some kind of formula like that. As far as space requirements, um, <coughs> is there a way that you could tell us what 
is really necessary as far as an SAU building or you know if if a modular is something like 1200 square feet is that sufficient does it have to have two bathrooms you know I, I think that the bat at least one bathroom would have to be handicapped accessible but um, I mean, does it have to be an area that has a large conference room um, does it have to have two offices that are away from the receptionist area? Or, you know, are those things that you could provide answers for? I, I can give you suggestions, Ralph. My my advice to this to this committee would be to research the districts that are similar to Wakefield and see how they have their SAU services configured, including their space. Yeah. So that's you know you would want to divvy up those responsibilities to reach out to some of these other SAUs and find out where. Where is the SAU office located? What's that facility look like? How's it configured? Um, because you're really going to want to base your plan off of more than just Fremont's, uh, because there are many ways you can configure an SAU. Um, you know, prime example: the, you have you you really have options as to how you provide your superintendent services that are laid out in um, 194C colon four. Is is the it, superintendent services. It just says superintendent services. Yeah. That's yep. all it. And you don't, you don't, you do not need to have a specific title as superintendent. Prime example is what Mil Middleton is doing is they've contracted out with Governor Wentworth for SAU services, and so Middleton is just pay, you know they're pulling from SAU 61. However, they're contracting with Governor Wentworth for SAU services, hmm. so it's a bill. Um, so they're not establishing their own SAU office. They're contracting with another district mm -hmm. that, that they're sending their students to. Yeah, they said no to us. <coughs> yeah, but, but that's because they're getting they're getting their seventh through twelfth graders. Um, I think they said no after they had already accepted Middleton. Yeah. Didn't they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was one of the reasons because they, they wanted, wanted to see to how wait. it went with Middleton first. I think that door is still open in a couple of years. After they get Middleton situated. So what you'll see in your research, you'll see that there's, you know, districts with full-time superintendent, part-time superintendent, or there's been a movement towards contracting out SAU services. Um, very rare, only in a very small district would you potentially see a principal superintendent. And I've already stated that I do not recommend that. No, no. Um, I don't. I do not recommend that. So you have options as to how to put your budget together. Now, did you say something about um, Bill Landers was starting some type of? Mm -hmm. Yes, he's uh, superintendent services uh, for districts. Uh, he's using some retired people and semi-retired people. And yep. I guess he's finding jobs. It's a superintendent search type thing. Mm -hmm. Kind of like what Mr. Lister was doing. Yes. But he was he was working with the New Hampshire School Boards right. Association. This is he started his own business, Mr. Lander. Hmm. I wonder if it would be worth having him come speak to us where he was a previous superintendent here, and he knows he, the district. He was in Fremont too. Oh, really? Yeah. I wonder if that would be something the board for like two years committee maybe. would like to have some time have him come in. Maybe we could extend him an invitation, see what the schedules are, and let him let him know what we've got for scheduling. Mm -hmm. See if it fits in for him. Then we can get an idea of what he may supply to us as far as superintendent, maybe slash business administrator, or slash uh, student services director. If we want to go that way, I mean, we've got to figure it out. The other person I didn't know if the committee might be interested in having speak to us was um, Gail Kushner, where she was a previous superintendent here. She might have some ideas too on what is, and she is currently in a single, single district, district. Yeah. SAU, um, what she feels might work for us here and maybe talk to us about the single district SAU that she's in and how that's set up. That would be a good idea if a couple people like that could probably 
Might give us some good Sarah information on. Yeah. Might be a good idea too to ask somebody that never worked here. <laughs> or never had Well, we're going to do that with these other towns, right? Yeah. Do we want to split up these four towns? Maybe each person take one and do a little research on them? Sounds good to me. Sure. One, two, one, four, three. Two. Four. Gilmington, <laughs> Sun and Pea, Fremont, and Winchester. I didn't bother writing. Well, we've got the budget for Fremont, right. but we don't know how their SAU is set up. Right. Um, well, I guess it's we could figure it out from the budget. Um, and how many students they have. and how. The other important thing is how many schools they have, not just how many students. Right. Because, I mean, some of these districts might have a K through 6, then a middle school, then a high school, or they might have K through 8 and send their kids out, mm -hmm. or they may have K through 8 and have a high school. So that's another important question for each of these districts. We've got to find out. See if they, yeah, if they kind of are close to what we have. Yeah. That sounds like what Alton would do. Um, you know, have the high school and the elementary school. So Alton, he said, had more kids, though, right? 600. I think you should Alton yeah. students go to um, Prospect Mountain, which is a separate SAU. Oh, really? Even though it's an Alton? Mm -hmm. Wow. It's a joint yeah, service they, agreement. They, joined a, they did a joint. Barnstead and Alton. All right, who wants to take Gilmington? I'll take whatever. I'll take whatever, too. I'll take Gilmington. All right, you're going to take Gilmington. This is Ralph, okay. So you're going to get a copy of their budget, Ralph. Okay. You're going to find out what they have for employees, how many students, and how many schools, and anything else you can find out. Who wants Sunapee? I'll take it. Fremont? Not much work on Fremont. There isn't. <laughs> Why is that? Small? Well, we have oh, their, we budget. Got, got their budget. Oh, I see. And That's it right. is small. So we've got some of the legwork already done. It's a phone call, actually. A Fremont? Don't all speak at once. I'll, I'll do whatever, so just. You got free one. Okay. No. Winchester. I don't take it. I don't even know where it is, but I take <laughs> it. It's over by it's over by Keene, I believe. I also want to look at a couple other Well that's what I was gonna do. I was gonna districts like yeah. Northampton, Hinsdale. I think you're gonna uh, find it bigger. Mm -hmm. They that may be, but I think we could still get something even if they're bigger. Mm -hmm. Maybe get some ideas for them. Mm -hmm. Didn't Madison Freedom? Just now, Alton right. might be a good one where they do send their kids out. Right. Even though they have more kids. Even though they have more kids. Yeah. It's a single district. It's pretty close to us. How many? Yeah, you know, it depends on how I'll many do Alton. And their elementary. Did because Madison, I'm going to have to call um, no, Madison Freedom. The Freedom. Land chose not to Madison withdraw. Freedom and Tamworth are all one. So all Madison right. chose in 2011 not to withdraw them. They have an extensive. Uh, List or withdrawal study, and they, they must not have very many kids. Mm -hmm. Small. All right, look at Madison too. Can we get a copy of Milton's um, whatever they did their plan or whatever you called it? The any monies that were attached the to the plan. Did they, did they do a report? <coughs> they did a letter, just like Wakefield did, to the board. Did they have State minutes? Board. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the minutes. <coughs> we get copies of their minutes and their uh, report to the state. And we, can we get a copy of our report to the state, too? That's, so, again, it's not a report, Judy. It's just a letter a stating letter, that they whatever. recommended not withdraw. Yeah, if we can just have that for our... We're going to have to start a file here. All that information. That's it? That's the letter? It says in the old minutes that it takes uh, a separation. Oh, this just says that they accepted it, the report. Separation occurs. It takes, a, it's a three-year process. So is that, if it's... Voted on. It's it's a three. Is that a RSA or a, it's a three-year process to complete the withdrawal? 
the, what that what that's referring to, Steve, is that you had the year to to um, research the feasibility of withdrawing. If that passed, then you have a year to plan, and within that planning time, you have another year to implement. So okay. you could possibly have a three-year three year time frame. However, you know, my understanding, the intention of this plan would be to expedite the process, which would be June 30th, 16th. Well, we that's may find that's not feasible yeah. once we get into it. Absolutely. Um, financially, too, yep. because right. we're going to have to yep. come up with some. Oh, the other thing I would like to see. Um, I would like to have Back Bay come in at some point and talk to us because I'd like to know how you, um, what the process is going to be for transferring all our information. And somebody's going to have to have a new server. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to know approximately how much their services would be, a ballpark figure. Um, I think that's going to be a big thing, all the information getting transferred to both districts. Mm -hmm. I mean, whoever keeps the server is going to have it all on there, but whoever gets the new server, all that information is going to have to be transferred over, right, Mike? Your server's in-house here, Paul. Would that handle the additional? That's handling Paul school now. But what I want to know is if it'll handle an additional SAU office. Oh, I, I see a point. My, right. my, well, first, my first opinion is, yes, it will. I mean, you're, you're talking about a handful of employees that might be accessing that information. But I think what she was trying to say is the information that's on the server at the SAU for all the SAU information now existing. For Wakefield's going to have okay, to be transferred. Okay. So I think at some point we're going to have to talk to Back Bay and find out what that's going to entail. I mean, splitting up desks and chairs and computers and file cabinets, that's not hard, but information is a different story. I don't know how difficult that is. Send, it all, send it all to the cloud. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Wherever that is. You ever the, heard of the cloud? Yeah. <laughs> the joint board voted... I can't remember exactly what it is that they voted on, but there was a portion um, that the Wakefield members wanted to ensure that we weren't getting into a deeper contract. I think it was actually on the building. The lease. The yeah, lease. lease, yep. So it, what's the window between now and the time they have to do the new lease? Would you have a year and a half? No, it's a, um, the current lease is until June of 2016, mm -hmm. and then until we have an opportunity to renew it okay. for another extended period of time. Okay. So that, that lease isn't going to be an issue to hold okay. it. But the location for us is going to be an issue, and mm -hmm. that's one thing I noticed wasn't in your budget. So I'm not sure what you guys were thinking. At the time, we were told that most likely we'll be able to get one of the modules. That's why we... Uh, right now, I believe one modular is full and the other one has bright beginnings in it, right? Yep, half full. So you only have half a module right now. At the time, we were told most likely they were going to pull that one classroom out and we would have that module to use for an SAU. But, I mean... So location is something we're going to have to think about, too, then. I think the worst-case scenario... We buy another module. Those really weren't that expensive, if I recall. They're probably around fourteen grand. Probably around one hundred and fifty by the time you get them set up. I would think. One hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Yeah. I'm thinking I made a motion for two hundred thousand dollars for two of them that time, and that was back how mm -hmm. many years ago? Quite a few. And there wasn't enough money to set them Turn up. Right. I believe they had to get into their budget to set them up. Yep. But if you did that, we do have town water, we do have town sewer, so that's a big savings. Right. All the real cost is the modular and hooking it up. But then your second problem is where to put it. Put it in the parking lot, put it out 
can we fit it out where um, between the school where they put that new half of the shed out there? Maybe once it gets done getting filled in. <laughs> but then you're going to have to create a parking lot that's more expensive. Is You'd be better off to put it over in the parking lot. Oh, just slide it in. Slide it into a corner. Mm -hmm. So what it doesn't take too many parking places. Have you ever been up to Mason's? My stepdad's. I thought I've driven by it. I know where it is. I've never been there. I thought about offering that free of charge for, for whatever time it took to get the get a SAU building established. <laughs> Does, I mean, it's... 1,200 square feet, probably. On the first floor? Yeah, ground level. I guess what we'd have to look at would be the expense of moving it there and then moving it again, if you're <coughs> talking short term. Well, I'm talking about the building that's there. I No, but I'm talking about moving into it, the cost of oh, moving yeah, into yeah. it, setting up all yeah. the computers and everything, because yeah. you wouldn't be able to use the Paul School server from out in mm. South Wakefield, right? right? It has to be, would have to be on this property, wouldn't it, to be able mm. to use it? I'm not sure. Well, I don't see, believe so. These are questions so. for Back Bay, yeah. so. Yeah. I don't believe so, but it would be a question for Back Bay. And then there'd be the cost of moving out of the air into the building. I yeah. guess we'd have to look at that. That's generous of you, though, Rob. It does have a generator there, so it would never run out of power if that was an issue. Mm -hmm. Well, at some point, maybe we'll have to take a field trip. That's okay. Oh, absolutely. So, does anyone have anything else they want to bring up? Who's calling to see about those people coming in to speak with us? I will. And I'll set up with Back Bay at some point with Michael to have them come in and talk Sounds to good. us. If that would be okay. Sure. All right, so you're going to get, what are you getting for us? I have a copy of the current SAU budget. Yeah. Uh, all of the minutes that the board met on, the Wakefield School Board met to discuss that three-month budget. Yeah. Um, I also have a copy of all Milton Withdrawal Study Committee information. Yeah. Including their letter to the, to the DOE. Yeah. A um, copy of the letter to the DOE from Wakefield. And that's what I have for information to bring your next next and meeting. Can you get us the surplus amount? I can do that. So everybody's going to go online and get um, that article in the Fosters. That was January 30th, you said, right? Yes. I think I wrote that down. So, yeah. And everyone's going to check out their towns. And Michael did say the Milton minutes, the discussions on the on that as well for the for their SAU withdrawal. Then weren't there minutes that Milton had? Yeah, that's what that's I have what here. That's what he's got. Okay. The study committee minutes. Okay. Thank okay. you. Everyone's going to work on their town. If somebody decides to work on a town, can they let the rest of us know so that we're not looking at the same thing? So you find one online. So we've got Gilmington, Sunapee, Fremont, Winchester, and Alton covered. Are the tax rates important to know as well, as far as? Uh, the that? school rate might be. You might want to separate it, not just get the town, right. but the school. Judy, can I make a suggestion? Mm -hmm. When you're calling the other SAUs, a couple things you, you're going to want to also ask that might not be in their actual SAU service budget, the 2320 function, is you, you want to find out about what do they do for student services? Do they have a director of student services or a building level coordinator? You also want to ask questions about how do they deal with transportation? Do they contract out their transportation? Or do they own their own buses and have a coordinator? What do they do for facilities? Do they have a director or which that all would be included in a school budget, not necessarily in the SAU function? Well, of yes, the when budget. you have a single district SAU, isn't it just in their school budget? It is. It yeah, is. That's so, but right. you're going to want to keep in mind what might be in the 1200 function for special education that oversees student services. 
that might even be outside of the district. All right, so those so I are think, all the things. I think one of the questions I didn't say to ask was to find out what their uh, staffing was. Right. Yep. Employees. Did I, did I say yeah. that? You okay. said employees. Those are just the areas that I yep. that you might yep. not see in the SAU budget that are right. located within other functions of the budget that provide services as an SAU. Because I know I was looking at Barrington's budget and all their SAU services were in their regular school mm -hmm. budget. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it deals with the single district here is different than in the uh, 194C. There's a section in there talking about uh, single districts. Yeah. So what do we want to have for an agenda at the next meeting? Before we're going to have the... All right, when can, can I get that stuff from you before the meeting, our next meeting? Best way to do that is send it out electronically. Or just scan the documents and send them out electronically, because then you don't. Unless you want to come and pick it up, Judy, I'll come to pick it up because I'm a paper person. Me too. Okay. I'll, I'll look at it on the computer, but I have to print it and sure. it. and bring it notes. with me. <laughs> I so. need notes on them. Well, if we're going to have to pay cost, we're going to have to. Keep, how do you keep track of all of that paper? We say thank you very much. I'll donate some reams. I got some reams of paper that, that I'll donate. The, the oh, paper is not the expensive part. It's the ink. <laughs> well, that's, that's why I'm willing to donate the paper. <laughs> that's right. So, uh, when do you think you could have that all available? Because what I can do, I go by there three times a week, so I can pick it up and bring it up to the school for everybody else to pick it up if that's convenient. I'm not delivering. I'll pick it up down there. I was just thinking of a local place if I grabbed it for everybody. I'll just have Kathy give you a call, Judy, when it's ready. Okay. It shouldn't take long to put this together. All right. Prior to the next meeting. Oh, absolutely. Yep. Is the town hall out to be here for everybody? Steve, is it? Yeah. Well, I could put it right in your box at the town hall. You can well, drop mine I off. I can drop yours off <laughs> on the way by. She said no delivery. <laughs> but me, I'm special. <laughs> hey, hey, she goes right by my house. All That's right. No, no, don't. No, my driveway's a little muddy. I don't want you getting your car dirty. I'll pick I it up at the town hall. I just washed it today. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to be responsible <laughs> right, so for any dirty vehicles. Good grief. You have Kathy call me. I'll pick it up, and I'll send an email. Speaking uh, of which, email. I'll have everybody. Um, I'll get it to everybody somehow. I'll go to the can town hall and write pick down up. their... Um, email address and telephone number so I have it and I'll let you know when all right so the next agenda we'll be able to review <coughs> the budget right mm -hmm. because we'll have all that information everybody will have it ahead of time and they'll have all their questions <coughs> I don't think we're ready yet to have any people come in no I think that's maybe later on We'll, we'll be ready to review some of the stuff we get individually from the individual towns. And yep. then I'll report on our towns. Yeah. Now, is each person going to make copies for everybody of what they have for information? So we all have copies? Of I will. I can make copies of mine. I'll make copies of mine. And so we'll all have copies of it? Yep. <laughs> um, Put ten copies? About ten, mm -hmm. we'll do it. Yeah. Nine <laughs> copies? Condense your information. Nope. Two, four, five, six, seven. Double sided Double printing. Copy. <laughs> you don't need a copy? No. A bad does. Beth yeah, will, I've got her down. That's why I don't need a copy because I can get whatever I need from Beth. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Five, nice six, to have seven, people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what else do we want? On anybody have any requests for the next agenda? Reviewing the budgets, report on your towns. What's your deadline? In case we come up with something, does it have to be decided tonight, or can we call you? Deadline for what? To add things to the agenda for next time. You can call. Let's set a deadline of the week before. Sounds good. I think according to that RSA, you have to have a segment for public comment on the agenda. But yes. Yes, that's mm -hmm. you're right. Public yeah. comment was on there. 
Oh, and the other thing was, I noticed in the um, RSA that these meetings have to be posted in Milton too. Mm -hmm. That was done for tonight's meeting. Um, Is it sure. on the door? It was on the SAU. You know, it's on the SAU door on and on the, the website. Yeah. So yes. Oh, so so okay, so you're covered in <coughs> Milton. I sent that to Ralph okay. to tell him that he had to post in Milton. Can you make sure that that's done for every meeting? Yep. Well done. And if we're, you could probably just do a like May, June, and July, and put the first and whatever the first and third. So you don't have to do it every time. Mm -hmm. Would that cover it yep. for you? Make yep. it easier for you? Sounds great. Public comment. Um, any other questions for tonight? Or any requests for the agenda for next Just week? Just old business and new business. Because <coughs> you can list the towns under whichever that we're going to be reporting on. Okay. I'd like to thank everybody here for being a part of this. I think we'll be a pretty productive group. I think you're right. I agree. Everyone's going to check that Foster's article out. Thank you. Um, and you're going to be working so. on the inventory? Yep. How long do you Must think that there. would take? When could we anticipate? <laughs> That's going to take some time, Judy. Yeah. It's a big endeavor. So um, just go it'll be part of your plan. Just go room by room and... Uh, it's a matter of looking at past purchases and what we currently have, as well as looking at liabilities and where we are with our insurance and all that. So okay. it's going to take some time. Nathan's going to be working on that with you? Yep. Absolutely. Okay. Should we set some type of time frame on that? Or at the next meeting, could you give us an idea of the time frame on yep. that? How would that be? That sounds good. Isn't some of that um, inventory maintained all the time on, on some of the equipment, like some of the computers and certain pieces of equipment? That's yeah, we have a we have routinely. Yes, we have an up-to-date inventory on all of our equipment. Oh, you, could we have that? Mm -hmm. Get a copy of that, maybe? Could we put it together with the assets list? I'd rather... Put it all as one package, if you okay. don't mind. All right, give us a deadline date for, or an approximate date for completion of that. Is that it? I was just making sure that, did you look through and, and check the dates? Like. Fourth of July. Oh. oh. I don't have that far out. Fourth is on a Saturday. Well, it, the only thing what? that sparked me was that you told Mike that he could um, <laughs> post all of the. Fourth and eighteenth. First and fifteenth. We usually post them out by the month. Six and twenty. If that's all right, because if they change. Yep. Yeah. So we'll just do each month it as it comes like up. Okay. Yeah, it looks yeah, like we're okay. we're okay through August. Yep. Well, there was a third Monday one of those months. So yes. Gonna... June. This one, June. Probably June's going to be a busy time anyways. I mean, yeah. we'll just do the two. We'll just do the two. If we have to add more, we'll add more. Yeah. So, so if we count back fast. 135 days from the middle of January. September 1st. September 1st. That's going to come around pretty fast, I think. It is. Sick meetings or something. That's allowing two versions to go to the state. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we want to take our chance with one and have it come back and right. not have enough time. Well, because then you miss all the public hearing and deliberative session deadlines and it sets right. you back till the a whole year mm -hmm. after that, so I mean, I don't think you want to take that chance. Okay, so September 1st. Let me take the audience here. Yeah. Yeah. Public, Public comment? Public no comment. comment. No comment? <laughs> no. Just listening? Just listening. Yeah. Comment, motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Oops, go ahead. Third. No, you can no, 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 have no, it. No, you can have it. No, no. <laughs> Steve, you want me to hold you? Aye. Steve, you want me to hold you? Steve, the Constellation Commission meeting. <laughs>